friends, it's time for us to meet two new alpha friends. Today, they're coming to help you practice your letters and sounds. But you know how those alpha friends are. They're never here when you need them to be. So we need to call them out. So the first alpha friend's name is Vernon Vulture. On the count of three, can you say, come on out, Vernon Vulture? You can, great. Let's say it together, ready? One, two, three. Come on out, Vernon Vulture. There you are. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. What letter are you here to teach us? The letter V. The letter V. Can everyone say that letter with me? V. Good job. Well, what sound does the letter V make? V says V, like Vernon Vulture. Oh, I guess that does make sense. V, Vulture. What sound does the letter V make? You're right, it makes the sound V. Hey, Vernon, do you have a video to show us? You bet I do. Great, let's get to it. Vernon Vulture is a vegetarian. He keeps violets in a vase and plays the violin. With a uh, 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 Vernon plays Vivaldi. He's so bald he wears a Viking hat to bed. V is for Vernon, a very cultured vulture. He loves the letter V. Vegetables and agriculture. V is for Vernon, a vulture we all love. is vermilion and he knows a lot of verbs he knows a million like vocalize and volunteer and vanish that means disappear and vernon does when he vacations once a year v is for vernon a very cultured vulture he loves the letter v vegetables and agriculture v is for vernon a vulture we all love letter v at night time, Vernon dreams of Venus, and he wonders how much space there is between us. Venus has volcanoes, and Vernon loves volcanoes. With hot lava, red like tomatoes, V is for Vernon, a very cultured vulture. He loves the letter V. Vegetables and agriculture, V is for Vernon, a vulture we all Wow, Vernon, you're the first vulture I've ever met that's a vegetarian. I sure do love my veggies. You're so silly. Friends, can you remember what letter we learned with Vernon? You're right, the letter V. What sound does it make? You're right, it says V. If you're having trouble making that sound, all you need to do is take your teeth and put them on your bottom lip, like this. Then blow out your mouth without moving your lips, like this. Can you try it? That was very good. Great job. Practice writing an uppercase and lowercase v. To write the uppercase v, you start at the top, slant down, slant up. For the lowercase v, you start in the middle. Slant down, slant up. For both V's, make sure that your two slants connect at the bottom. Practice tracing mine. Ready? We'll start with the uppercase. Slant down, slant up. Now, trace my lowercase V. Slant down, slant up. Great job. Vernon, where'd you go? Just like that, he flew away. But that must mean it's time to meet our next alpha friend. The next friend we're gonna meet is Yoko the Yak. I've never met a yak before. I'm so excited. On the count of three, can you say, come on out, Yoko the Yak. Ready? One, two, three. 
Come on out, Yoko the Yak. There you are, welcome. Hello. Now, Yoko, what letter are you here to teach us today? The letter Y. Ooh, he's here to teach us the letter Y. Hmm, that's a tricky letter. What sound does that make anyways? Everyone always thinks Y says W, but I tell you, it says Y, Y, I say. Oh, we don't want to be one of those kids that mess up his name. The letter Y says Y, not W. What sound does it make? You got it. Now, Yoko, do you have a video for us too? I do, I do. Oh boy, I can't wait. Let's get to it. Yoko Yak, she's yodeling on a yellow yacht. She'll come back when she's found a place that doesn't make her yawn. When she was young, she could pass a day in knitting yarn and making yoga shapes, but now she's tired of her little yard and she wants to see the world from her yellow painted yard yeah 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 for yoko yeah 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 she's coming back she'll have lots of yarns to tell for words with why she'll give a yell Yesterday, Yoko docked her yacht at the pier. Now she's home and can't stop yapping all about her year. She learned to play with her new yo-yo. Yes, she likes yum vanilla yogurt. And now she's tired of her yellow yacht. So she wants to stay home and plant yams in her yard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Yoko Yak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming back. She'll have lots of yarns to tell. For words with why, she'll give a yell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Yoko Yak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's coming back. She'll have lots of yarns to tell The words with why She'll give a yell Yay! Yoko, the letter Y says W, right? No, we went over this! I'm just kidding. I know, the letter Y says Y. Can you say it with me, friends? Y. And what letter is it? It's a Y. Good job. Now here's the thing. This letter can actually be a little tricky to pronounce. So if you need help, what you're going to do is bunch up your tongue towards the roof of your mouth. The roof of your mouth is the top of your mouth. And then you'll blow out some air like this. Y. Can you try it with me? Ready? Y. Great job. Maybe it's not so hard after all. Now, let's talk about how to write the letter Y. We'll start with the uppercase. Start at the top, slant to the middle, slant to the top. Start in the middle, pull straight down. Now, watch me write the lowercase. Start in the middle, slant down. Start in the middle, slant down past the bottom. It's your turn. Take your finger and trace my letter Y. Start at the top, slant to the middle, slant up. Pull straight down. Now the lowercase. Start in the middle, slant down. Start in the middle, slant down past the bottom. Great job. Yoko, where'd you go? Ugh, those silly alpha friends, they run off as soon as you look away. Well, now you know how to write the letter V and the letter Y. Go get some practice. I'll see you guys later.
Bye.